So I just want to say, guys, uh, before this video starts, uh, this is not my normal thing. This is uh, just going to be some fishing, and as we get into summer, there's going to be more of this. This is my first time actually just recording fishing and not while I'm camping, just out fishing. So it's going to be, you know, a little change of pace, and right now, <laughs> not the best time. I'm, I'm, I don't do much ice out fishing, so... Uh, We'll see how it goes, but you can expect more of these throughout the summer. But I'm gonna try, well, I'm not gonna make them my main like adventure type videos. Definitely will do that sort of stuff, but there will be quite a few fishing videos. So we'll see how it goes. This will be number one, first one. We'll try it out. I hope you guys enjoy. Hey there guys. I am on my way to go fishing. So it is, today is the day, it is ice out. It is today, today is the day. I checked, I've been checking this lake and uh, it's, it's been, it's had ice on it every day except for today. Today is a beautiful, sunny, hot day. It's like 72, 75 degrees, somewhere in there. It is beautiful and uh, I'm using my, <laughs> my trucks in the shop that's another story. But anyways, this is my truck I've been meaning to sell, but I just transferred over the insurance and I'm getting out there. I don't really do much ice out fishing. I, I you know, I've, I've gone pretty early, but this is by far the earliest I've gone to, like, this is the first day that this lake is clear. I went out and checked it with Funk earlier today. So we're gonna go give it a shot. I don't really know what I'm expecting. It's a big, deep, clear lake. Summer is gonna be more about fishing and canoe camping, but spring and fall are also canoe camping, so it's a little bit of a transition, but I did mention I'm going to be doing fishing. I'm going to try to do a lot of fishing videos, and those will just, you know, it depends on how much stuff I get to do, but, uh, they, you know, they, they could just be Wednesday videos. I don't really know, but I did tell you this was coming. I was going to be doing some fishing, and that's what we're doing today, and I'm thinking that regardless of if I catch anything or not, I'm going to post up this video, and we'll just chit-chat and blah 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 you get to hear my diary of the mouth either way i'll probably be throwing this up but this is the first thing i've recorded since i got back from my road trip to montana and i am just so pumped right now i'm going to get out the good old tin can i'm not going to do it in my canoe i like to use uh, my 12 foot aluminum boat and my trolling motor on the bigger waters if it's like a really wildernessy setting or somewhere you know I have to obviously porch my stuff in I'm gonna use my canoe now normally normally when I fish a lake and I fish it pretty hard and I'm like by myself I never get skunked I think I've been skunked maybe one time and I'm talking skunked as in I might have never been skunked to be honest and I'm talking skunked as in like no fish whatsoever and I even if I catch a two-inch bluegill or panfish, that, that counts as not being skunk. So rarely will I be a skunk. Sometimes, you know, if it's getting really bad, I will, uh, you know, drop down. There's been, there's been a time where I've been skunked, but it's very rare. You know, I've been skunked a lot fishing with Jake, but I haven't really fished that hard. Today, I'm fishing pretty good. I've got, oh man, I've got four hours till the sun sets and then twilight. So I've got some time to catch some fish. And we're gonna see. Worst case scenario, I'm gonna throw on a little teeny jig. I'm gonna go for bluegill or, or panfish. And I, I refuse to get skunked today. It's too nice out. A little breezy. I just put in. Man, the wind is being really unreasonable right now. <laughs> It's blowing from this way and then this way and just swirling. So I'm not going to get many chances other than fishing in a few bays if I don't want to blow around in the wind. So this is one of them. And the water's pretty high right now. 
So we're going to try in here. It's nice and calm. Looks good. You'd think there'd be fish here. Oh yeah, this is a nice deep hole. And now the wind's coming from the opposite way. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. idea to go without some bait. I'm going to stand up here for a minute. I am going to try some spots that there's usually fish at. It's like a big bundle of sticks underneath the water, like a root mass of a big tree. Usually that's like their home. So maybe they'll be there. See there's still ice. This is normally a decent spot, but there's ice all along this shore, and there's actually some snow over there. And you can see how it's shaded over here, but it's sunny over here, so I've got to go to that shore and stop wasting time over on this shore. But the wind is not cooperating. <laughs> uh, so that's no fun. So I'm going to go over here. We're going to try to get out of the wind, but stay in the sun. We'll see. We're just going to try fishing back bays and stuff. I might just... I might just give up and start trolling, who knows. No matter which shore I go to, the wind's blowing that way. Making it really hard not having an anchor. I'm just eating baby carrots, drinking carbonated water, trying to get out of the wind. It's been difficult. Come on with you. can't get any bites here. I'm going to keep fishing bays and stuff for a while. Pretty soon, if I can't get any sort of bites or anything, I'm going to switch to trolling, which I have caught fish doing that here before. I can see it. Absolutely nothing following the jig. Try to get. I'm gonna get a snag. Oh, that was good. What is that? Oh, they must be putting the dock in. Now we're gonna switch to a little eighth ounce Clio. Blue and silver. I have a silver one too, but we're gonna. St oh! Partridge drum. Anyways, I can cast this further. And uh, we're going to switch from jigging to a little bit faster of a retrieval now. I do not like giving up. Although it was very discouraging with this wind. Very discouraging. Because I don't have many places to fish on this big lake. I mean, I could put an anchor down if I had one. <laughs> My line snapped and I didn't feel like... Uh, fixing it. Once I saw that the lake was ice free, I pretty much was in a mad rush to get out here. I haven't seen anything. I know there's lots of fish in here. I'm just not having much luck. So what I'm going to do is put on some lures for trolling. And I'm going to put my old faithful uh, jig on my ultralight so that I can cast it pretty far. Let it, it'll sink a little faster than the light one, etc. And uh, we're going to try with that. And then I'm going to cast for a little bit here. And then I'm going to troll 
two of these. These little teeny oh, teeny floating Rapalas. And I'm going to troll around the shoreline wherever the sun's blasting and do that for a while. I might have to admit to defeat today because I am just not having luck. All right, fishies, come up. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Now, in super clear water, you want to get snags. And then you want to almost hook yourself with the snags when you're ripping them out. It's just basic fishing. Like, see how close I am to that, that tree right here? In super clear water, you want to be that close because the fish will spot you and they won't bite. And essentially, we're just trying to protect the fish. You know, I catch fish all the time, so why not not catch fish? You know, I catch fish more often than I don't catch fish, so it's actually more fun to just not catch fish. Sit here and eat baby carrots, drink carbonated water. Slowly starting to get chilly. We're trolling now. I just either had a bite or hit like a stick or something. It was a definite jerk in this line right here. It was a definite. That could have been a strike. Well, I saw the one thing I needed to see to keep myself fishing for a while. I saw fish, big trout, look like a rainbow trout, surface right near my boat about 10 feet away. And I tried to cast at it, but nothing. But now I'm convinced that I had a bite. So, unless the wind doesn't die down at all, I'll be staying till dark. Switching back to a little jig, a last ditch effort to catch some panfish. My, my thought process is that the sun is still just blasting this place. And it's a nice little bay, it's a little less windy, and there's a whole bunch of stuff below in here. So maybe, just maybe, the warmer surface water gets blown here and it's just warmer here in general because the sun's always hitting it. And maybe they're right around here. Seems like there's a lot of sticks and there's reeds that are buried with water. It just seems like a decent habitat for fishies, for little panties, little panfish. So we're just gonna give her a try. And I believe my trolling motor on to battle the wind. I don't want to get too close to where I'm gonna fish because it's so clear. I cast a shadow, stick or something. Hey, look at that. I caught a stick. I didn't get skunked. I caught a nice stick. There's a beaver grinding on a log up here. I'm going to try to sneak by it and not spook it. So far the wind's being much more reasonable. There is hope. Wait, I'm gonna do this for a while now. This looks like my best bet. I'm feeling 50-50 chance of catching a fish.
That's fish. There we go. There we go. Come on, baby. There we go. Come on. There you go. It's gone. Is it? No. Maybe. Can't tell anymore. No. Oh, I got it. There we go. <laughs> I got my baby carrot bag in here. <sighs> there it is. Ooh. All right, now this is the reason I don't like these nets, is because my hook is all tangled in there. Now that is a pretty little rainbow. Look at that. Perfect eating size. Oh. I am going to take this guy home. I mean, we're going to keep on fishing. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, I was getting so discouraged, but it's perfect. I think, I think we're going to catch more. Yes. I'm genuinely happy right now. I'm not a, I'm a catch and release fisherman, uh, sometimes, uh, not always, and I, you know, so when I'm fishing on my boat like this, I'm going for little trout, like that is a perfectly good fish to eat, I'm going to keep that, I'd like to get a couple of them, because, you know, that, that could make a meal, but if I get a couple, then me and Funk can eat them. nuts over there oh man I just can't do it these cloth I don't know why they made nets out of cloth why would they do this it's just the perfect thing to just get tangled in a treble hook I'm gonna have to cut this to get my lure out I'm sorry Alice <laughs> I have to oh just That's a fish call, just like the seagulls do. Yeah, it's a fish call, Rob Byer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I've been fishing for a little while longer. Sun's setting, not getting any bites. I'm gonna turn around here and follow that whole shore back to the boat launch. If I catch anything, I'll record it. But other than that, I'm gonna, I'm done fishing. So. Hopefully in the future, they'll be a little bit more entertaining. I'll catch more fish. <laughs> you know, I just wanted to get out today. It was beautiful. And I decided to make a little video. So, you know, you know, it is what it is. I only caught one fish. That's okay. I'll try to keep it short and sweet so it's not too boring. Keep keep just the, the highlights of me just casting and trolling and not having any bites. <laughs> Anyways, guys. 
As always, if you liked today's video, hit the like button. If you want to see more stuff like this, hit the subscribe button, and I will catch you guys at the next video. Okay, we've got our fish fillet and we got a pan we're heating up. Put a little olive oil in here. Let that get nice and hot. I normally cook it a little differently, but we're out of tin foil, so I'm gonna try this out. I'm gonna throw some lemons in here. Let the juices kind of seep out of these a little bit. And we're just gonna take our fish fillet. Whoops. Lay it down there right in the center of all that. Ooh. Little smidge of Montreal in there. Maybe a little bit more of a smidge. There we go. Mm-hmm. Little bit of minced garlic. Oh, just a little. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good. That's plenty. Woo! And then just a little chunk of butter. We'll stick it right there. Whoop. We gotta get up that dog hair. Now we're gonna let that cook and then we're gonna flip it over. Now we're just gonna one-handed flip our fish. Whoa, oh, 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 one-handed. Oh, can I do it? Can I do it? Oh, it's stiff. We're gonna do, we're gonna just, you know what? We're going for it. All right, now she's flipped. And we're gonna add a little bit more of Montreal. Continue cooking her. All right, now I'm gonna take these lemons that are cooking out just kind of lay them on top you know what I don't like using a spatula right here I'm just gonna do it like this whoo whoo hot mmm let the juices soak on in there just cook for a little bit longer okay now we're just gonna put it over a plate of rice don't need these anymore. Ooh, that's gonna be good. There we go. Can uh, drizzle some of that extra juice right there on the rice. Oh yeah. Now I'm just gonna pull out the fins here. Whew. And one more step. I'm gonna take your fork here. Oh, it's gonna be hard. While holding the camera, you get the spine. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. And it'll peel right out. Oh, there we go. And our fish is ready to be eaten. Mm. Enjoy. Mm.